With help from charitable donations, Maria is building a bespoke rehabilitation center. We now have a permanent home. It's about 300 hectares, so we've got enough room for our animals to move around in. This center has to become one of the leading centers for penguins. Not for our reputation, but simply because there's penguins that need care in this country. Fortunately, one recent arrival is already making a big difference. Stephen is this amazing young man who walked into our lives out of the blue. We moved to this new area and he saw our vehicle and he approached one of my students and basically said, I want to work for these people. And he's been here for about six months and you would have thought he's been here for 20 years. Anyone adores Stephen, and he adores her. Uh, I feel like it's not a job. It's something uh, God wanted me to do. Now, Stephen has the responsibility of walking Honey Bun every day. Where she goes, he must follow. Not easy in the dense bush. And it's clear who's really in charge. She's the boss. <laughs> With Stephen on board, things are looking up for Maria. But every day, it seems there is more bad news for pangolins. Yesterday's paper, big confiscation of elephant ivory, but also pangolins. So it's just getting worse and worse every day. In the last couple of months even, we're seeing a lot more confiscations going on. It's probably a good thing in that at least the authorities are catching people, but I suspect a lot of it is not just due to authorities being really jacked up, it's due to a lot more trafficking going on. And it seems the problem is getting closer to home. Where's the wire? This one. Stephen has found evidence of snare traps. Uh, Maria got two wires again here. One got a loop. That's 100% it. Ah. See, there's the loop. That goes in right like. All right. Now, any animal puts its head through. And then as it gets its shoulders through, and the shoulders are too big, the wire closes in around their neck. So it's quite a, quite a violent um, death. <clears throat> if I didn't love my car so much, I would kick it. That Just... somebody thinks they have the right to come onto my property and kill my animals, and Stephen's animals. It's, it's, this is wrong. As Maria is fighting to protect her own backyard, there are more cries for help from further afield, and they're growing increasingly disturbing. I just had this gentleman um, write to me. Uh, he was traveling through Angola. Now he's just sent me a bunch of pictures. And there are a bunch of penguins hanging from a wire and they're in different positions in every picture. I just thought it was a whole set of different pictures and I realized that these penguins are alive. <sighs> you know, it's not enough to just save honey bun. It's not gonna help us to make changes here in Africa and we don't stop the Asian market. The Asian market is the key market. Um, and if we can slow that down or start to put a stop to that, that's going to solve a lot of our problems. Sometimes you just feel like this one little person in this big, big ocean.
for Maria, the time has come to take action. She's going to journey into the very heart of the pangolin crisis. Asia's gone through what Africa's going to start going through. What's important now is that I go over there and I learn as much as I can. My reception just goes out. I'm very lucky to have reception at the moment. She's reaching out to people in Asia who, like her, are working on the front line. I'm not the only person trying to save penguins. There's not a lot of people. We all know each other's names. Very few of us have ever met. <laughs> 